Hello everyone, welcome to my channel today. Today we are going to talk about the statement, you're deaf, but you don't look deaf. If you're new to my channel, my name is Emily. I have a moderate to severe hearing loss and I wear hearing aids. I love my hearing aids so much. I created Definite Hearing as a way to increase awareness for the deaf and hard of hearing. I hope you stick around to the end of this video because if you do, I am going to share what runs through my head when someone says this and share a little tip for those hard of hearing or deaf people as to how to cope with this. All right, so I purposely left my hair down for this video because as you can see, my hair is pretty long. It is incredibly fluffy. This is my natural curl. Unfortunately, I feel like the camera doesn't get my curl as well as it is usually pronounced, but I have a big hair and I have a big personality. And most people do not learn about my hearing loss until they learn more about me and they say, what do you do in your spare time or what do you enjoy doing? And one of those things I say that I enjoy doing is working on my definite hearing YouTube channel. And naturally they say, what is definite hearing? And then I have to say, well, I am hard of hearing myself and I wanted to create this channel to lift and help others. And it takes them a little bit to be like, wait, you're hard of hearing, but you don't look deaf. And every time I get it, there's always a rush of emotions. So let me tell you how I respond to this. First thing to recognize is that communication requires two parties, a sender and a receiver. The sender sends the message and the receiver is in charge of interpreting it and responding if they would like. These are just basic communication principles. And sometimes the receiver does not receive the message as the sender intended, especially I feel like in this case. So a hearing person says to me, you're deaf, but you don't look deaf. <laughs> as the receiver, my initial response is, what am I supposed to look like? Or have you ever met a deaf or hard of hearing person in your life? What were they like? You know, and that is the first thing that runs through my head. But over the time of receiving this uh, statement, compliment, whatever you want to call it, many times I have come to recognize some things that the sender is trying to be interested in my life. That's how we got to this statement in the first place. They were asking me questions, they were saying nice things, and then they just said something that they thought would be nice. Because a lot of hearing people, their first instance when they find a person is hard of hearing or deaf, their first instinct is to feel bad for them or have compassion for them. The thing that they fail to realize is that a hard of hearing person or deaf person typically like that is their life as they know it. You know, someone might have progressive hearing loss, they may have been hearing and hard of hearing, but I'm talking about my specific personality and my experiences. I just have noticed that people feel bad for me and I'm like, why would you feel bad for me? So anyway, this is all running through my head and this can create a disconnect, but I have decided to make the conscious choice to not allow this to create a disconnect because of the sender's intent in sending this. They sent it as a compliment. They meant it to be a compliment. Most people are not trying to be rude. Most people are just trying to keep the conversation going. I have experienced feelings of sadness and frustration when people say this because it just brings back every negative feeling I've ever experienced with my hearing loss because that is the way that our brains work. When we see something or come in contact with something, we instantly try to make a familiar connection. And when someone says that and it brings back that negative feeling, it brings back all of those experiences that are associated with that negative feeling. And so it is important to understand like your emotions, your brain response, and the sender's intent. So taking all of these things into consideration, I personally have decided to respond to it in this way. I try to receive messages as they were intended to be sent in order to just improve communication clarity. And if I need clarification, I ask for clarification, but I take that as a compliment and I say, wow, Thank you. And I like to respond to help this person think and help increase their awareness of what do you think your life would be like 
if you were hard of hearing? Or have you ever met any other hard of hearing people? What were they like? And talking to them and really taking this comment into a deeper conversation about like, why do people perceive deaf and hard of hearing people as different? When clearly we're human and clearly like humans each have different struggles and asking them those questions. So it sounds like you have never met a hard of hearing or deaf person before. Well, let me tell you, we are normal people. Our ears just don't work right, but like we're still just as fun and creative and we have personalities. Like some people might be introvert, some people might be extrovert and that's okay, we're human. And just helping people like have these cool conversations rather than like, what's your name? Where are you from? how many dogs do you have to like, let's talk about hearing loss. Let's talk about how this impacts people. Let's talk about things that you can do to help hard of hearing people around you. Or like, hey, fun fact, my good ear is my left ear. So as a friend now that we've created this connection, if you stay on my left side, I can hear you better. And all of a sudden this comment, I cringe to even call it a compliment. This comment slash compliment, this statement of, wow, you don't look deaf, evolves into an opportunity to make a real friend and a real connection. But that decision point, is up to you as the message receiver to decide, okay, what am I gonna do? And I have to say, like, because this statement can bring back so many negative emotions, like if you're dealing with hearing fatigue or other things and you just don't wanna deal with it, then sometimes you just let it slide or just let it breeze past by you. So start being proactive. If you are a deaf or hard of hearing person, play scenarios in your head. Like how would I respond if someone said, wow, but you don't look deaf or you don't look hard of hearing. Think of a witty question to fire back. Think like, well, have you ever met a hard of hearing person before? And help this hearing person realize that like they're kind of sheltered and we want to share our experiences with them and give them that opportunity and be that person for them that they can can really connect with. So that is how I take that statement. I take it into an opportunity to help someone learn about this community that they clearly don't know very much about. It's just an opportunity to learn, to grow, and to share. What are your thoughts on this? If you are deaf or hard of hearing, I would love to hear how you respond to this statement. I would love to hear what your thoughts are and how you respond to it. It can be how you've responded to it in the past and how you respond to it now. It's normal to have these answers changed based on each scenario because it definitely is dependent upon who this person is. Are they a stranger? Are they a friend? Are they a close family member? You know, the dynamic can change and it can change fast depending on the situation that you're in. But this response to this video is how I personally respond to this situation. If you are a hearing person listening to this video, you need to realize that not every deaf or hard of hearing person is like me. I don't represent everyone. We can't generalize things. But I just want to say that when you find out someone is deaf or hard of hearing, it is appropriate to say, would you like to tell me about that? I'm interested in knowing more about that and show interest in the person and recognize that their hearing loss or deafness does not define them. Because honestly, if you had not known that I had a hearing loss, like, would you even know? I mean, people usually can't tell. Again, this hair just covers up those hearing aids and I don't try to cover it. I just like my hair and I let it fly free some days and some days I pull it up and my white hearing aids are easier to see. It's just fun. So I guess all in all, what I wanna get out of this video is that is how I respond to that statement. Hard of hearing and hearing people will respond to it differently. Ultimately in communication, it's important to recognize that there are two parties, the sender and the receiver. And sometimes the message is not always sent in a sensitive way. And so it's important to just be aware of that. Give people the benefit of the doubt, regardless of what side you're on, sender or receiver. Understand that most people are good hearted. Most people are genuinely interested in learning about those around them. And we are in a really unique time with coronavirus where almost everyone has experienced difficulty hearing and understanding. Hearing and definitely hard of hearing and deaf people alike. There we have it. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. I absolutely feel passionate about this topic and this is just one of many reasons as to why I created Definite Hearing. So if you haven't already, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. I look forward to making more great content for you. Have a great day.